Hi guys, welcome back. This is bon Merv, Bonsai with Merv. Um, what I'd like to do today is uh, earlier we I showed a couple of bon, uh, ma Japanese maples and we talked about uh, how to purchase plants and one of those plants that I showed you was a perfect, what I feel, just perfect for a slanting style or shokan, okay? Um, is a shokan shakan, so leaning a shakan. Okay, now this particular plant is it looks like it chose its style on its own. Yeah, and uh, many times when I work with different plants, I like to see what the plant has to offer and uh, and then kind of work it into that style. Now, the leaning style is a plant that. Uh, got a little bit heavy or drooped over or something pushed it, uh, not secure enough, and it leaned as it was growing, okay? Uh, the difference between a leaning style is when you can actually see the lean and everything kind of flows to one side, where this can be converted or used as an informal upright, where the top could be uh, wired and shaped so that the apex and where it comes out of the ground are lined up regardless of how much movement you have that would be an informal upright but here what we're doing is we're going leaning style and what I'm going to do at this point is take off this particular branch the 13th branch which in turn helped thicken up that trunk to uh, give it to give it a little bit more stability, you know. Uh, take that off. Okay, I'm in the front. I am in the front. So let me show you what I've been looking at. Okay, there's my leaning style. Uh, clean a little bit of the uh, soil away from the base, so that we can get a better look at um, the trunk in this area. This Okay, uh, that's coming directly at us. We don't want that there. There's a branch I do not want. A little bit on the bottom, a little bit here. This one is opposite by what I feel is my number one branch. And here are two opposites here. We don't want that. And as far as I see it, this is almost perfect. Put a little bit of wire on this. Make sure when you use your wire that you use a wire that's thick enough to handle the branching. Maybe I should go to a thicker branch, wire, a little bit thicker, not to stress the plant. This is a number two wire. One, two, I see, and this is what I want to work. So if I secure on the trunk, and just carefully, carefully move that wire, move your hand up, control the wire as you're moving up. Make sure you're away from the branching, do not pin any branching up against it. Not too tight because let's face it, uh, this is one of those plants that uh, when it does grow, it'll grow fast in the spring and it will scar, the wire will scar, okay? So, let me, let's see, we're going to do this and that's what I want to do. Is, that's what I'm looking at. Here's the apex, okay? Leaning style thin wire here. Make sure you follow the spiral that you already have. Okay. Got to look at it to make sure that I'm following the right movement. I'm going from this branch, moving up, going up, following the spiral, not crossing over, and taking it up to the apex. No eye pointers. Put this one on here. On that 
that branch. I can then bend my branch. I need to turn around, make sure I'm looking at it properly. Branch, apex. thin wire for this branch and that branch. Okay. Once again, I'm going to follow the spiral to my branch. Wire that branch and wire this branch. Look, my number one, number two, okay, good back branch, and that one can stay there. All right, and there you are, you're looking at the beginning of a leaning style, and it's going to lean so that it does not cover this area. If it covered this area, it's a informal, but it's not in this area. And what I did is I took my one gallon pot and I sliced it, sliced off, because this is not the time of year to really mess with the roots on a maple. We're heading into winter, so we've got to be careful. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing is just taking some soil off the top, not messing with the bottom, trim off some of these feeder roots. They're not necessary. I've taken off, see I, I have reduced the growth, the, the amount of foliage or let's say the amount of branches on this tree by 50% plus, okay? So it's not going to hurt it to lose a little bit of soil on the top. Take my grow pot, push it in here, Okay, and here we are, ready for the winter. I will keep this in the nursery area, keep it protected for a while because I did disturb the roots slightly. And come spring, we will turn this baby into, and we'll find a really nice bonsai pot for it and turn it into our bonsai, okay? This is a bonsai to be, the ever-changing art form. That's what we're working on. I thank you for being with me. If there's any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Check us out on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, hey, like I said before, and like I'll keep on saying, if there's anything you want to know, please ask, and I'm sure we'll be able to show you whatever we can. Do take care. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye now.